So I'm just, what I'm doing right now is I'm just running, taking it, the TIG welder and welding this edge all the way around. So I'll get this all welded up and then the other side needs to be welded too. It's just, it, I think it's spot welded from the inside. The other side was holding, <clears throat> excuse me. The other side was holding on. So I'll weld both sides, I guess. It's good for practice, you know. God knows I need that. I'm sure some jackass will be like, oh, your welding sucks. <laughs> My tungsten's like, needs to be sharpened, but whatever. Look at this badass holder I got right here. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate you, brother. Love you, man. <clears throat> Damn, how won't stay up. And this uh, Yes Welder, they sent uh, this uh, welding helmet Man, man, I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. Love it. I'm actually using my uh, TIG, weld TIG welder from uh, Mi uh, damn, my TIG welder from Eastwood. I'm waiting on some parts for my Yes welder. I've already used the uh, MIG, but I haven't had a chance to use the TIG, so we'll get some parts and get get that thing going too. not too bad so I got that all welded up and I'll probably grind it whatever what I'm doing is I'm making I'm making a uh, what the hell would you call this I guess it's like a holder um, I have a bunch of uh, like screwdriver style Allen uh, ball Allen socket wrenches or whatever you want to call them ball Allen tools and they have uh, like screwdriver handles on them and uh, I got them at a garage sale a while back for like a buck. And this little holder, it actually came with it, but it was all kind of rigged together and it was too long and whatever for this cart that I have. And I cut it down this morning and I'm, I made the end for it and I'm TIG welding it all together. And then I'm gonna make a little stand for it so I can sit it on top of my machinist box. That way it's right next to uh, you know all my machinist stuff. Make it a lot handier because I have my other Allen wrenches over there. But that's what I'm working on today. Just a quick, boring video. Figured I'd share with you guys, show you what I'm doing. Um, I just had the truck in here and uh, did some repairs on that, our personal truck. And getting ready to do some stuff uh, real soon, some cool stuff, so we'll see what happens. But I think I'll cut the video off here. Thanks for watching, later. So I'm gonna take this piece here, and I'll drop it down in between here. And weld it so that it's kind of at an angle. And I'm seeing I'm making like a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a little box or whatever down below to put all my small Allen wrenches or Allen keys, whatever the hell you guys want to call them. But that's what I'm working on right now. When I get it done, I'll, maybe I'll film some more. Well, that took me uh, probably, I don't know, about an hour or so. But I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I have all my uh, ball socket screwdrivers, I guess you'd call them. 
I wanted to do that, so I had them all in one place. I had them on the side of a, of a cart before, and it was just a pain in the ass. You couldn't get to them. But this turned out pretty cool. I put this in the uh, brake, and I broke a like a little pan or whatever you'd call it. And then I welded a piece of metal underneath so it's like ballast. So this, this is not tippy. It's not anyways, but I don't want it to tip over. And then I have some magnetic, I gotta find it. I have some magnetic sheeting. I'm gonna cut and put in here so these will stay in there. And then uh, I'll just take this and put it over here. And then when I need it, it's easy to grab. It sits on the side of my toolbox. And it's with my other uh, Allen wrench sets right here. And then that way everything's all in one place. Turn out pretty cool. If you guys have any uh, comments or anything, leave them down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Please go check out our other channel, NZ Mopar Outlaw Customs and Iron Horse Garage. Thanks for watching. Later.